Welcome to Corel Video Studio Pro X2 Tutorials. Okay, we have just learned how to trim videos as well as how to mute videos. Now let me tell you before I forget how to undo something that you have done now. See this arrow here? That's the undo button. We just muted this video, this one here. If you want to undo that muting, you just click here. The video is no more muted. If you play it, there will be some sound. But if you want to mute it again, click on that, the redo button, and the muting will come back. So that's you do undo and redo. Now let me show you how to do picture in picture thing. That's very interesting. I like it. So we'll do it one right now. Uh, let's first select a picture that we would like to insert. So go here, click on that arrow and click images. So the image library will open up and from there we will choose a picture. I like to have my picture. That's the one. And we will simply drag that picture into this uh, what you call uh, overlay track okay and we can adjust the timing when to start the picture in picture time so let's say we bring it over here there so that's how my picture is appearing let me just magnify it a little bit see my picture has appeared there over the tiger's uh, picture now i have the option of uh, of uh, moving that picture to anywhere in that frame so le le let's bring it on the right side corner okay so let me bring my picture back to the center where it was originally and let me show you how to resize it actually you should Put your mouse in these corners it becomes double arrow and you pull it it has become enlarged and you do the same thing push inside it becomes small but if you do it on both sides both corners the proportion of the picture will remain the same otherwise it might get distorted so if you want to increase the size Maybe you pull each of the four corners a little bit, like so, and then take the picture to anywhere you like. Maybe on the bottom corner here, or maybe in the top corner here, wherever you want. And uh, you can position the picture by, uh, you have to look on the bottom of the screen here though right there okay if i want that picture in picture thing to begin right at the beginning of that clip we can bring it that way we can bring it absolutely at the beginning of the clip like so can you see or if you think that picture in picture should start a little bit after that click has that clip has started playing you just drag it a little bit on the right side now let's talk a little bit about the effects of the transition effects which most people like to use but i'll warn you right now do not use it too much that becomes too clumsy the video looks clumsy and if you really notice in mo real movies or in real television shows they hardly ever use these transition effects but since these transition effects are available in the software people get crazy about it and they add all kinds of transition between all the scenes and use different transitions uh, and that makes it very complicated and clumsy remember one thing please video editing is possible you can do a lot of things but your total i mean the final product how good or how bad it is depends a lot on your own aesthetic sense. You should have a nice artistic sense and you should judge which one will look good, which one will not look good. And if you are using transitions, use it sparingly and do not use too many different transitions for every different scene. 
that makes the video look too clumsy and it's not really good. I hardly ever use transition effects but if you want by all means go ahead but use it sparingly. So I'll show you how to use the transition effect now. Alright to use the transition effects click here that says effect and lot of different possibilities will open up. You can click on this arrow and they have various effects available and each effect can be modified also it is up to you the, this uh, software Corel Video Studio Pro X2 literally offers hundreds of transition effects and each one can be modified each one can be changed according to your taste so choose what you like and then add it for example you first click on anything you like and play it right there you can see how it will look okay play it again that's it. okay let's say I like it so all I need to do is drag this and put it wherever I want to put so I have put this transition effect between those two scenes if you want to put it between another scene go ahead and use it. Uh, I'm not sure whether you can see, sorry. There. Okay, take, let's take a look at this scene. Uh, we'll play this thing here uh, where we added that <coughs> picture in picture thing as well as we added the transition effect at the end of the scene. So let's see how it looks now. We'll play it. That's the picture in picture and then the transition effect and at the end of this scene also there will be a transition effect like so so we'll stop here now